In this video segment, we're going to talk about squaring the panels to the eave for our exposed fastener panels. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to use the 3, 4, 5 right triangle method. Now, we're using a 3, 4, 5 because we've got a small area. The larger your roof, the larger right triangle you want to use. You can use a 6, 8, 10, any multiplier of the 3, 4, 5. Now, to start, Steve's going to give us a 3-foot mark along the base of the eave trim. Now, you want to put your mark at the bottom just like Steve is. Now, that's the 3-foot leg of our 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Now, keep in mind, this 3-foot mark has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that you're probably using a 3-foot panel. This is strictly the 3-foot leg of the 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Now, I'm going to put our 4-foot leg. You want to hook right at the 3-foot mark. Now, what you're going to do is hold your marker, whatever you're using to mark this, at the 4-foot line. Now, give yourself you know, a three to four inch line here because we're not sure exactly where in here that we're going to be popping up our line up through. Now, we're now ready for the five foot leg. Now notice how Steve's got us held. He's on this high side of the tape. Make sure that you're using your mark on the high side, not the low side. That'll throw you off. Now we're going to do it very similar to the four foot. Hold your marker on the five foot. Give yourself a decent sized mark. Now, where these two lines intersect, that's where we're going to pop our line through. Now, Steve is going to hold my chalk line on the three foot mark. Now, what we want to do, he's right on the three foot. You want to run this mark right through and past where these two lines intersect. Okay. Okay, now what you want to do after you've popped your line and you've checked it for square, extend this line all the way up through the roof line. Now, we know we're three foot at the eave. What we want to do is go to the high side, pull a measurement across there as well to see how square your gable end is with the eave. If you have more than an inch variance from three foot, then give us a call and we'll work out a solution together. Okay, once we've accomplished this, we're now ready to start aligning our panels. 